hold hands or? You can if you want, yeah. Do you want me to skip to you or? Yeah, you can do that also if you want. This is our drift to Pandua, currently leaving Brisbane to fly out to the lovely Cairns, 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 however you say it, and, uh, and then heading to Osaka. Well, actually, I think we're heading to. No, it isn't Osaka. Later this evening, so. It'll be quite a flight. It's so early in the morning. Look at it. It was all misty and stuff. You see, like, the big bridge over there. Yeah, so on our far right here, directly ahead with the Elders Coke Forever shirt, we've got Bronson. At the back here in the white 180 shirt, 185, we have David. To the right of David, we have Adrian. And then to the far left, in in the adventure adventure no SpongeBob shirt we have Brendan and Scott. Excited, bro? Very. Has this been a long time coming for you? We've never been international. Never. Ooh. And I can't drift. <laughs> I, I had to go on Banky's car the other week before it threw a flywheel. Yeah, that was, that was pretty brutal. Oh, that was alright. I've been on the simulator as well. Yeah, sick. Well, it should be alright. Well, if you need the coaching, I am here for you. We'll get you shredding in no time. How are you doing, Adrian? You keen? Yeah. What's, what's the first thing that you want to do when you get there? Uh, ramen. <laughs> ramen? Oh, ramen. Ramen? You want to do ramen? Ramen's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I hear this. Probably grab a boss coffee, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Start off right. Get a genuine boss coffee. Yeah. yeah. Hello. Hey, 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 can I be annoying already? Can I get better? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, he's being, uh, apparently if you drink Coffee Max here at Gaijin, the Coffee Max is like great. What's the Coffee Max? Canned coffee. Little canned coffee. Oh, uh, yeah, somebody's tries to give me those. I don't know if I'm fan of those. I, they're, go, uh, they're coming out hot, right? Yeah. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 those ones don't. But there are ones that do come out hot, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. I got my, my tiny little point shoot here, and she's pulling out this gigantic gorgina no, like, of the, freaking the, camera. The, 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 the thing is because this one is awesome. I was mm. before into Fuji's, there were little ones awesome, I love it. These ones, brah. <laughs> <laughs> right now I'm like almost fucking uh, four kilos over. Yeah. <laughs> thanks to those cameras, like that just shows. King. I'll catch you guys soon. Cans. Cans. And it started raining. Lots. It's crazy how much the weather changes. We're even out of the country yet. It's not too hot though, thankfully. It's actually cooler here than what it was in uh, Brisbane. Now we wait. Oh, Alright, so we're adding some fun to this. We have David back here. Chilling. 185. Check him out if you haven't already. <laughs> Make some rad stuff. Uh, we're chilling at the moment because we got in from Brisbane to Cairns, which we're currently at now, at what, 8 this morning? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we got in at 8. Come on, here so you can just catch up what we're talking about. So we got in at 8. From there, we then went through this massive line of people that you guys might have seen earlier. We got through most of it, and then the flight got delayed halfway through the lineup from, I think, a 10.30 takeoff to, no sorry, 12.30 takeoff to 3, 3.55? Yes. Yep, so we, we, we gained an extra four hours here, so we're like, oh crap. In the meantime, while we were doing the line, we were doing this uh, online thing called a Japan Web, which is like an online travel for Japan. Uh, it turns out that at some point before you travel three hours, sorry, three days before you travel, you have to get a 
certificate to say that you know you can travel your negative for testing etc etc I got it done the place I got it done has screwed up big time and given me the wrong form which has then caused absolute chaos for myself at the airport uh, the rest of the guys are fine they're going through and they'll be flying to Kansai tonight um, I think your flight got delayed again, didn't it? Yeah, I think it's like 4.15 now. <laughs> so it just keeps <laughs> delayed twice and then even better. Uh, so because I now have to go get another test, it's Sunday, nothing is open. So I'm making myself comfortable. I've got a nice little corner and a PowerPoint. So this is my bed for tonight. Uh, I have to go in the morning to go get another test. Hopefully get it done at 6.30 in the morning, get back here by 8.00 and then be on a flight to Narita at 10 a.m. and then from Narita sometime in the afternoon I then have to catch another flight that links to Kansai and link that so it's gonna be a lot of travel but it gets even better because these guys get into uh, Kansai Dori tonight and the Drift Japan tours they have their first track day tomorrow morning starting at 6 a.m. Uh, they're gonna fly in now due to all the delays at the airport they'll get in at probably midnight they'll get through customs probably around one and then I think it's an hour or two hour drive to get back home to Kansai Dori uh, they then get three hours sleep to if then you're lucky. <laughs> if you're lucky to, uh, to somewhat get some form of sleep now the guys have probably flown the planes today as well and did you, did you sleep last night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. You had to sleep, cool. Uh, I didn't sleep, I, I don't know, at least one other member didn't sleep either, so he's now going to have about three hours sleep in two days and then go out drifting, so that should be great. You guys are going to be pumped full of energy drinks. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> it sucks. Uh, yeah, my flight, so the, the flight for tomorrow to Osaka, because it's Sunday, uh, Conveniently enough has been cancelled, which is why we now have to do this weird link flight and the only flight leaving from here to Narita or to Japan is at that 10 a.m. Which is brutal seeing uh, the pathology test then has to be done in less than three hours, which is crazy because it's a civvy practice It's not attached to the airport and I can't get it done at the airport because the airport up in Cairns ends up sending their tests back down to Brisbane 24 hours later to get tested to then you know get the results to then say yeah okay now you can fly so there is no testing at the airport up here technically I'm gonna make myself at home soon and then kind of go find the, the local taxi stands and the uh, coffee shop and all those kinds of things but uh, yeah, it looks like we're spending a night well I'm spending a night in the airport <laughs> look at this it's not freezing I've had to do it once in Melbourne and it was so cold and they left the doors open bro like they were like wide open it was like one degrees if that the, it was that was so painful i didn't take a jumper either i was like no i'm gonna just go down go to ninja training and stuff and yeah no that was i was in a singlet and definitely got no sleep that night i won't say to tomorrow because i'm probably gonna get up to some random stuff we might go hunting through the airport and see what we can get away with might go prank some of the guys or chase the security guards i don't know <laughs> just start, just start having people on the shoulder running away around the corridors around here. <laughs> well, this is Cairns. Yeah, it's really pretty up here. Actually, it does look really cool. When we came in, there was a bunch of mountains and stuff, and I just had a, a chat with the police at the front there about what there is to do, how big the place is, where to go hiking. Classic Aussie here. Pretty nice layout though. Got some food. I came in just for food, really. A coffee. I need coffee. Uh, yeah, I got fed up with carrying my bags around, so I put them in these things. First time I've actually seen these things. Just dump your luggage. So, this is my journey so far at Cairns Airport. Ouch. Usually, I'd just carry these around, but uh, the wheels on this have decided that uh, they're on belts. They don't want to roll anymore. I don't have much wheel left. At all. Oh no, it doesn't have much wheel. I actually think I'm wearing out the bottom of the plastic thing, this one here. <laughs> it's 
go. Went into domestic. Just real quick. Just go check it out. It's quite a bit of stuff in there, but um, it locks up later tonight. And uh, the international one apparently doesn't. Apparently it's 24 hour. So hopefully I don't get kicked out of there and I might actually be able to sleep on the carpet in there. Not sure yet. Don't like my chances, but we'll see. I just don't want to hire a hotel. I don't really have the money for it, so. It's not, it, honestly, this is not bad. This, I have a roof over my head, it's warm, and it's dry, and it's carpeted. That's even better. I've slept on concrete, I've slept on rocks, I've slept out in the middle of nowhere. I've slept on all kinds of heinous, uncomfortable, what the hell is that thing? Okay, I've never seen one of those things before. What is it? Is it a trolley grabber? Is this like a really ugly looking wannabe cake Oh, it's got tiny seeds. What is it? That is the weirdest little thing I've ever seen. It's like not even, it's like half the size of a cake truck. You can put like a go-kart on the back of that. It's a lollipop. A lollipop on a stick. That would be pretty cool to watch all the storms come in from. Yeah, speaking of storms, it's starting to sprinkle again. It's raining on me. What's the city number? 131! Oh shit. Whoops. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to get the, the uh, local taxi number because I'm going to need them tomorrow. So 13100. Try not to get run over here. So this is not the tippy tippy top of Australia, right? Kansas is pretty close though. It's pretty close. Let's put it there. Um, so it's uh, kind of near the point. Oh god, I gotta go this way. Oh, this is not gonna be good. Can't remember to get down there. All right, we're jaywalking. No, not the get it. Oh, let's do it again. See, these things are so dicky to use. I hope I don't get run over. Okay, yeah, sorry. Back to what I was talking about. Uh, yeah, this is like kind of the top of Australia and I always thought it was really hot up here like really hot and dry and arid and gross and maybe I don't know tropical or wet occasionally but I was speaking to the police dude earlier and he's like nah bro we don't get like 37, 38 up here we get like maybe 32 with 100% humidity all the time I'm like well it's kind of cool but it also kind of sucks humidity in general is pretty crap but um yeah, just coming from Brisbane where the last week has been 37, 36, 35. Ooh, the sun. Yeah, so come from there, it's been rather pleasant in terms of temperature. Okay, look, this was not designed very well as a pedestrian. What's the face? How am I meant to get down here without getting ran over? The, uh, the glory of the entire of Kansas International Terminal. <laughs> Gotta drop my luggage in the puddle. Thank you. Oh, okay. Then I can go find my piece of carpet and wait until dawn. Maybe I'll just do push-ups every hour for the next 12 hours. See how many push-ups we can do before I can't do any more push-ups. Sit ups. No squats though. Yeah, we're skipping leg day. We're skipping leg day. The terminal is a little less pub looking than the domestic terminal. There's some nice art and stuff around. It's nice and big. It looks like there's another flight going off over there. When we came in earlier, our flight was all the way up to like the back there. And my, my secret spot has been taken, so we may have to find somewhere else. Do -do 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 -do. There's the vending machine, there's my lifeline. And all the chocolate's gonna keep me alive. I don't know where that goes. I'll we'll probably know tomorrow. Maybe. When I earn the privilege. When I am worthy to take the escalator. Let's go here. Boom. Looks like a like holiday town or something. Um, and the place I need to go tomorrow is, I think, 4.4 or 6.4 kilometers from here. 
and I think it's like 11 minutes so hopefully it doesn't cost me any more like maybe 20 bucks maybe 30 bucks to get down there 40 bucks in total to get back and then cool man I don't know, I'm just gonna run in and beg him like hey I'm uh, I am stranded in, in the middle sorry at the top of Australia far far away from where I actually live and where I'm going please help me and uh, maybe they'll do a bit of an express test and then I can race back here and hopefully get on the plane and booked in and everything before 10 10 so 10 a.m. 10 past 10 it's kind of creepy when it's all quiet So I made the bad decision to uh, not sleep last night at all to make sure that I was up and that I was at the airport in time and that everything went smoothly. <laughs> that backfired just a little. So um, I didn't get kicked out of the Melbourne airport so hopefully I don't get kicked out of the Cairns one but who knows? I don't, really don't. It's currently just gone 6 p.m. So exactly 12 hours from now, 6 a.m. I have to be ringing or at the, the, the nearest pathology place. <laughs> like, guys, do me a big one, please. Get me out of here. Well, it's around 11.40 and uh, security came by and kicked me out of the international terminal. Even though it's a 24 hour airport, apparently they shut down the uh, international terminal. So just had to wander around to the domestic I just find somewhere outside just past the taxi ranks here. So I've got to wait out five hours, roughly. Five more hours uh, kind of makes it pointless getting a hotel or anything. Uh, and I have $350 total to ration. That includes a $200 test thing that they've got to try and get done as soon as possible. Uh, and the taxi ride to and from uh the local town to get it done so that's that's cutting it really tight it is raining and it was a little windy earlier but the temperatures aren't too bad it's very humid but i mean like it, it's it could be so much worse so So Cairns, I think, is known for having the world's oldest rainforest. Obviously, this is in the middle of the CBD, so this is not rain rainforest, but if I'm sure you go on a tour, you would find a lot more of this kind of stuff. It's crazy. Um, all right, sorry, we just done the pathology test thing uh, to get another, a, a correct PRC form, which means that I've been tested uh, again so just gotta find a taxi to get back to the airport and hope to everything it comes through in time it's a two hour turnaround before my flight closes uh, and if I don't get this flight there is no other flight today and even then this is a this is actually a, a double trip thing I'm actually flying to Narita so Tokyo up that way and then down to Osaka Kansai um, because there is no direct flights to Osaka today. It got canceled yesterday. Uh, grabbing my stuff now. And just as I pulled my bags out, it is 8.28. We just got the letter. So thank you so much, QML Pathology in Cairns. You guys are legends. That was a crazy fast turnaround. Let's hope I can check in. We'll find out. And here is where I stayed last night. Over. Right next to that vending machine. Checklist two out of uh, what, five major airports in Australia that I have slept at. So we've got Melbourne down and now Cairns. Haven't had to do it at Brisbane yet, but Brisbane is in the middle of nowhere. And if they do one day again, Jetstar does do a uh, 
flight cancellation. They're, they're pretty well known for it. Uh, maybe there'll be a chance we sleep in Brisbane Airport one day as well. Oh yeah, no, Cairns is quite nice. I think it'll be a really nice holiday destination to come scuba diving, go check out the Great Barrier Reef, maybe uh, go for some hikes, help the rainforests and stuff. Check boarding pass. Phew. So apparently today's flight was very, very full as well. And they had, I think, two spots left on the Narita flight. So they worked magic um, and they've got me on the Narita flight. And then again, worked magic in Narita and got me on a flight two hours after we land. So fingers crossed this all works out well. And I'm probably going to be doing a whole, pretty much a, a top to bottom of Japan before I even get there. <laughs> It was a mission, but we made it to Terminal 1 of uh, Kansai, Kansai International Airport, which is in Osaka, which uh, we're now heading to Kobe. Don't. No! Stop it, you're not cool! It's a cool cut! No! <laughs> Drift pin! This thing is pimp as! I thought the old grams were pimp. The delicas are like just as pimp. Ready? Watch this. Fancy. All right. Anyway, sorry. I'm, I'm good. Konbanwa, YouTube. O genki gets the. I think I'm turning Japanese. I think I'm turning Japanese. Mm. <laughs> you got a long way to go. <laughs> <laughs> Four weeks helps. <laughs> you're getting there a little. You're getting there. I'll, I'll pay that. Welcome. Say, say hello to Benjamin, guys. He has I'm been back. AFK for a while. Now <laughs> I'm here to ruin Loki's videos again. Reuniting in another country. <laughs> so we're here with the uh, Drift Japan tours and Kansai Dory. Which have you got man boobs? No, it's got three layers on. Oh, okay. No, it's okay then. <laughs> Um, yeah, so how long how long do we have from here? From about two hours? About an hour. Uh, it meant to be about an hour and 45, hour and 28. Oh, that's but not too bad. The speed limits here aren't quite as applicable as our country. Uh, look at this for a waiting bay though. How crazy is this? There I guess is... you know what they don't, you guys know what they don't do here? Kick you out, move you on, do anything. I saw, I even saw an ice cream vending machine. Uh, and a Lawson Bliss. and some onigiri and I saw Starbucks making uh, milk, coffee, matcha somethings that looked amazing. Boss Australia oh. Every time you swear I literally have to bleep you. Think of think of a substitute word for all the swearing. No. <laughs> I apologize on behalf of all uh, I apologize to no one. Caucasians that are attempting to be Japanese using really bad Eng Eng English. <laughs> <laughs> now is that probably been here 30 seconds. Uh, no, no intent to uh, offend anybody here. Benjamin. We bought a sticker in uh, Shibuya a couple of years back and it was like a, I think an old school 1970s, 1980s tradition of these gangster cats. They're like Yakuza cats. 
Mm. Well, Yakuza and Neko, um, and they wear like leather jackets and like. And they, were, and they wear little red sun bandanas. Come I, to Japan. I can't oh, play music. Hey, oh. oh, oh, look! Oh, please it don't lapse. I have that in Hot Wheels! <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird not seeing the blues. Come back, Mr. Policeman! What are you doing? Oh. Kansai Dory, wait, 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 wait. I, sorry, I, have to, I have to zoom right out. I was chasing the taxi. Unfortunately, this is the track Loki missed today. We got to go to Don't Mainland East. Tell me that. That was the 13 I built. So 13 went good? 13 went real good. I don't think they can hear it, eh? You can turn oh, that one on. I'll show you guys this later. Or you can check this out on Drift Japan Tours yeah. probably in the coming weeks well, when all the media goes up on this. Yeah, there'll be lots to see in the future. That's awesome. That's sick. I'm, much fun. I am Devo, I miss Mayhan, but... There's the El Grandes, or is that, no, is that the Alpha? Is that the Alphard? I think it's called Alphard. Guess what I haven't seen over here, an El Grand. What? All being sent to Australia. Wow! So apparently they ain't real good. <laughs> Japanese don't want <laughs> They want the Delica. I can stop revving the van! That is really bright. Everything is neon lights here. That's what we want. We're going across a huge bridge in uh, well, from Kansai International Airport. So Osaka is what you're looking at at the moment. Osaka. I, uh, I haven't orientated myself in the daytime. I know this is... There is, I think, Osaka, and then there's something over there. Osaka! There's like, there's like four or five different areas. Um, Kobe's up there, is it? We were trailing, like way up that way. So yeah, we're way up that way, where, up there, where the buildings are up there. Kobe, more towards the inland. That is Kobe, yes, but we won't pass through. I was looking for mountains when we were coming in, but I didn't see too many. Or they're big mountains all through there. Or that's because they're black. Boy, is it? The whole thing is toge awesomeness. Toge awesomeness and neonness. Neon long, like God, look at all the flashy things. The roadworks a minute ago was, was, it looked like a, like a, what do you call it, like a traveling circus going on. It's easy. Okay, so this is toll road. I don't, I don't think it's flashing enough, Benjamin, I can't see it. <laughs> this looks like the same one that's on Wanga Midnight at the base of the, um, ooh, at the base of uh, Mount Taika. Taika? Or Hakode? They are everywhere. They certainly get their uh, yen off you. When you come to Japan, it is better to get a uh, Shinkansen ticket and pay for it for your visit or have some form of public transport option rather than driving around as the toll roads are everywhere and they try to discourage you from driving. Uh, you know, it just takes a lot longer if you don't take tolls. Like, it would be like It's crazy though, hours, like, they're roads. And the traffic, if you do it any time, the traffic yeah. would be like four or five hours to drive anyway. The road quality is nuts. Like, there's not even like overly road seams. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm just waiting for the one go midnight. Da -donk, da -donk, da -donk, da -donk, da -donk, da -donk, with the steering feedback, but it's like that or the suspension, and this is just crazy. Yeah, probably somewhere at $900 going to the airport four times. <laughs> Flares. Flares. Yes. Oh, oh what? Is. What? They lit on fire flares. Flares. Oh! <laughs> they still using explosives for roadworks here. There's one down at your left foot. Excellent. Uh, advise not to take flares home. You run the risk of being permanently banned from the country and getting in a lot of doo doo. Look at the factory there. Look at these things. They got smoke coming up them, or something. There's more smoke. And this factory, and that's a nice factory. Oh, that one has a smokestack. I haven't even seen the actual city yet. <laughs> it's like, what, 11.30? Hey. We're heading back from the... Uh, <laughs> you don't speak English anymore. Um, yeah. We're, <laughs> we're heading back from the airport still, and we stopped by a Lawson's. It's out in the middle of nowhere, so... Uh, obviously, there's no English. They don't speak English. Um, 
And Benjamin, you did a pretty good job getting your, your wiener heated up. Got to learn the word hot. I haven't learned the word um, hot yet. Atsui. Uh, oh, atsui, it's hot. Some yeah. it's cold. I have my first, correct me if I'm wrong, rice ball, onigiri. Um, yeah, I, I'm rusty right now. I'm probably going to mispronounce a couple of things and, and have a, a couple of dirt moments for the next couple of days, but uh, we'll get there. Got them. And then I found these. These are pretty much, I assume, just chocolate chip and vanilla little cakey things. Oishi! Oishi. Oishi means delicious. But uh, we'll see. And I got these things. They're baby star crunchy noodle snacks and they're called starch, starch chips or something great <laughs> pretty much mammy noodles as uh um I don't, I don't, there's nothing that looks like that in our, our <laughs> well, <laughs> like it's not a potato it's not it's a carrot chunk it's, a, it's <laughs> carrot chips that are noodles uh and then i found this one i went to walk out but then this thing stabbed me in the face it is a mocha milk pound we stopped here because you hadn't had dinner. Yes, yeah, so I haven't had dinner for two no, days. No, that is dinner. <laughs> it is dinner. No. It's, it's sugar. Hey, I got my rice ball. Dinner. My rice ball is dinner. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, I have, I, I try being responsible like. It's got pickles in it, but we'll see. What did you get? You got a pizza slab oh, I'm and a hamburger. Ah. You come to Japan and you got a hot dog and a hamburger. It's because they're delicious. They they're do, like $2 each. They do make really good bread. And then I got... Oh, you got angry chips. Bad chips. <laughs> Bad chips. Which is... I think it's seaweed, honey, and Ooh. butter or something. Oh, no, garlic, sorry. Seaweed, honey, and garlic. And you've got like four different coffees down here. Got, yeah, I've got a hot, a hot tea. Hot, hot tea, cold coffee. And like something similar to you, except it's got nuts in it. Nuts. Peanut noodles. Okay, so it's like mammy noodles with peanuts. I'm going to laugh if they're like Tabasco flavored or something. They, oh, they, oh, they got chilies on them. They're hot. Yeah, that's fun. Have fun with that. Anyway, this has been an eventful vlog. If I've put this all into one, if I haven't, I apologize. If I have, it gets better from here. I'll catch you guys soon. In the words of Lucas, Jamatane. Try that again. Try, try it again. Come on. Sayonara. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Australian. I'm allowed See, to Jamata. have my own dialect. We don't have dialects, baby. You wait till you get to freaking cancer. <laughs> <laughs>